good to be with you today and uh, with the opportunity of sharing with you some. I've been doing a, a Sunday morning series on the uh, Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5, and I'm hoping to share some of that with you in these devotionals. And uh, But first, let's just think about the some of the broader to, or the broader teaching here uh, as in regards to the Beatitudes. In Matthew 5, um, 1 through 12, basically is the content of the Beat, what's known as the Beatitudes. And uh, so let's just take a minute and look at that. Let's pray right quick. Father in heaven, help us now to understand what it truly means to be blessed from you. In Jesus' name, amen. As we look at this passage, he conti Jesus continually brings up uh, the word that's translated in English, to be blessed. Uh, some translations read happy, but I, I think maybe that's not quite the, in English, happiness has a little different connotation, and it is uh, kind of completely, um, in a sense, uh, completely dependent upon our outward circumstances. The blessedness spoken of here in the Beatitudes is not dependent upon outward circumstances but rather upon what God has done in our life and the joy that we know in following Jesus Christ and living in the kingdom or as, as part of the kingdom of God. And so let, let's just look at some of the passage. It says that G, seeing the multitudes, Jesus went up on a mountain and it, uh, when he was seated, his disciples came to him and he opened his mouth and he said, blessed are you poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall uh, see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. And blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets who were before you. That's the content basically of the introduction to the Sermon on the Mount. And he talks repeatedly of blessedness, blessedness here in, in a new life, a new way a new source of satisfaction because of a relationship with God and because of being in a member of the kingdom of God or a citizen of the kingdom of God. That's a better way to say it. In becoming a citizen, there is great, great blessedness, he's saying. And the, the whole idea of blessedness means there's a totally different way of life in following Jesus Christ. There's something that, that the world does not know, something definitely that the world is not uh, in tune with and cannot be in tune with without a relationship with God and to be part of this kingdom. This, this blessedness mentioned here is much different than our uh, English happiness that's depended on our outward circumstances, but rather this is a satisfaction that is found only in the Lord and in being part of God's God's purpose and plan and God's will. And of course, we would say, you know, God's salvation through Jesus Christ. Uh, in uh, Psalm 51, uh, when uh, King David has sinned and he confessed his sin, he said, to restore to me the joy of thy salvation. And, and that was what he longed for God to do because sin had robbed him of what God uh, had purposed for his life, and so that uh, he was, he, he had come to the place where he had repented of his sin and was turn, turning back to God, and now he longed to have that satisfaction, that joy that only can come from a proper relationship with the Lord, and I think that's the blessedness that's spoken of here when he talks about uh, the true blessedness of citizens of the kingdom and, and how this life would be really different, and so he was trying to teach his disciples, uh, here's, uh, here's the new kingdom life, the one you can expect, and the, the one that uh, God will bless, the one God will work in, the one that God will satisfy with, with his goodness and his blessing uh, as you follow the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's what we're going to be looking at through these Beatitudes, and I hope it'll be a true 
a blessing to you. And if you feel like in your life this kind of satisfaction, this kind of joy is missing, then maybe it's that kingdom experience through faith in Jesus Christ and that we may want to turn to him. And uh, if, if, uh, if we've grown cold, we want to renew our relationship with the God, renew our fellowship with the Lord. If, if maybe we realize that we've never had an, a, a born-again experience with the Lord, then we want to turn to him in repentance and faith and believe the Lord Jesus and, and realize that the, there is a different life, one that only God gives to those that believe and trust him. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope this will be a blessing to your soul.